Father, we thank you for your presence today. And Father, we thank you for who you are. You are the Lord of our lives. You are the covenant-keeping God. And Father, thank you for bringing Barbara and Jean today. Thank you, Lord, for their lives and their testimony and how you are using them, Father, to draw people to you. Lord, we thank you for the ministry you've given to her. And Father, especially the humor that you've given to her. Father, we ask for a fresh anointing today for her and Jean and Herman and Sharon. Lord, many people are going to be tuned in. And they're going to need to hear some things, Lord, that they may not expect today. But Lord, we ask you to give them ears to hear and tender hearts to receive. And Lord, that when they finish this broadcast, they will make a decision to say, yes, Lord. Father, thank you for Jesus' blood. And that he said, yes, Lord, to you when he finished his work at Calvary. That gives us the grace to live out our own lives on this earth. Be honored and glorified, Father. And we will give you all the glory for the show today. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's time. It's time. And now, it's time for Herman and Sharon. Hey! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> He's getting very creative back there, isn't he? <laughs> okay. All right. Quack, quack. How, how come this is... Oh, okay. It's, it's no, not, it's it's not. That's not. I'm not seeing the same picture. No, anymore. you're not. But uh, there can you, you can you see oh, the, can you see this? Look at this. Look at that. Quack, quack, quack. And that and that and that. It's got little baby ducks too. This is the We're going to talk about that. This is the kind of thing that if you take uh, this into a hospital, especially if little somebody's children. in their children, you know, uh, Linda. Uh, our assistant, Linda Opsel, took one of these to her granddaughter that was having heart surgery, mm -hmm. open heart surgery. And it just, she loved it. She just did not, loved it. right, Linda, she didn't let it go. Uh -huh. I mean, she, she decorated it. I mean, isn't that neat? We're going to tell you how you can have your own whack, whack. <laughs> uh, these, are just, right. these are just so neat. This lady is the most amazing. Yes, she's very unique. She is just amazing. Uh, I don't know what's going on over here. You're not supposed to be looking I at wish, that one. I wish I knew what was going on. There <laughs> it is, right there. Uh, this is her latest book, Yes, Lord, I'm Available. I have never in my life experienced a person that when she wakes up, her whole day is made up of, how can I use this to witness to somebody? That's right. And then she asked the Lord, Put you to shame. Yeah, yeah. She asked the Lord to put somebody in her path that she can share Christ with. Mm. Isn't that neat? I know. Well, she's with us right now, Barbara and Jean Hoff. That's Jean's that, her husband. Yeah, that's her husband. G and he's, he is. Uh, Barbara is founder and president of YesLordWorld.com. Yes. And Red Shoes World Ministry. She was a former columnist for two national magazines for eight years. You can see why. She has written over 19,000 poems. She does it all the time. And several books. And she's just an inspiration. And we know you will be inspired and by she, her. And she has uh, t-shirts. I mean, yeah. it, it is just amazing. She wanted to be a fashion designer or a designer. And, and God has used this. In this unique well, we're going to meet her, aren't we? Yeah, she's right here. Actually. Okay, she's right here on the, <laughs> on the set. How you doing, Barbara? Good. Hello, hello. Hey, how you doing? This is Barbara. That's Good right. To be back. This is Jean. Father, we thank you for your presence today. And Father, we thank you for who you are. You are the Lord of our lives. You are the covenant-keeping God. And Father, thank you for bringing Barbara and Jim today. Thank you, Lord, for their lives and their testimony and how you're using them, Father, to draw people to you. 
Lord, we thank you for the ministry you've given to her. And Father, especially the humor that you've yes. given to her. Yes. Father, we ask for a fresh anointing today for her and Jean and Herman and Sharon. Lord, many people are going to be tuned in. Yes. And they're going to need to hear some things, Lord, that they may not expect today. But Lord, we ask you to give them ears to hear and tender hearts to receive. Yes. And Lord, that when they finish this broadcast, they will make a decision to say, yes, Lord. Father, thank you for Jesus' blood. Amen. And that he said, yes, Lord, to you Amen. when he finished his work at Calvary. That gives us the grace to live out our own lives on this earth. Amen. Be honored and glorified, Father. And we will give you all the glory for the show today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 It's time. It's time. And now, it's time for Herman and Sharon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I love you. <laughs> we had a quack quack. That was my camera guy. Because we got a, Rich Nation. a little rubber ducky here with little baby ducks. I, I know it. Can, yeah, look at this. Now, we're not putting these up for sale, but this is unique because the lady that we have on today and her mm -hmm. husband is with her, and he can vouch for this. She is so unbelievably creative. I know. And this is just part of her creation. Mm -hmm. She'll but, tell you about it. But Linda Opsel took one of these. <laughs> Actually, she took mine <laughs> and gave it to her granddaughter in, in the, the hospital. hospital with open heart surgery. That's right. And she was just enthralled it by this. It helped her a I mean, great deal. It, yeah, and, and she, you said she decorated it too. Yeah. And. Uh, and then Barbara, our guest today, heard that I had given mine away, and so she gave me another one. Isn't that nice? She's this a very nice person. This is my personal ducky. Well, we have Barbara Hoff with us, and we also have her husband, Gene, joined her today. I know it. Barbara is founder and president of YesLordWorld.com. She is unique. And the Red Shoes World Ministry. She was a former columnist for two national magazines for eight years. She's written over 19,000 poems wow. in the past eight years and several books. This is her This latest. is one of them. Yes. Great stories in this yes, book. Yes, Lord. You will want your own personal copy. I know. When we show the website on Hello. the screen. Hello. Good to see you again. again. What a blessing. How are yes, you? Yes. Yeah. We stand you for again, you. Barbara. You don't have to stand for us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Dave, can you get a shot of his shirt uh, right above his pocket? Uh, there it is, and it says, let me see, enjoy it. There it is, right there. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Isn't that neat? I love, and then the, he's got all the colors that you've the, come up with for... That, that book, remember yeah. those books it's we used like to have? It's like the wordless book. It's just uh -huh. like your mm -hmm. necklace. Like my necklace, yeah. yeah. Yep, um, gold, the uh, gold is for streets of gold. Okay. We all want to go there one day. And the blue? The blue is for sin in our lives, darkness. And white? White is for cleansing, you know, cleansed uh, by the blood. Oh, yeah. And once you say yes, Lord, you start to grow in him. So why not say yes, Lord, today? Mm -hmm. Wow. And start right now growing in the Lord. Would Very you nice. like to say yes, Lord? <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> and that's her necklace, too. You designed that, yes, too, Lord, didn't you? Yes, Lord, yes. Mm-hmm. I did. So I remember, my I remember did. the little song that used to go with that book. Yes, yes Lord, Lord, yes, yes. I dance with Jesus to that every morning. Now you... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> she, she, call, she calls herself in the book an ordinary woman. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, you, you can open the door to witness to people with the most... <laughs> amazing ways that it just, I mean, reading this book, you got to get your copy and just find out how she opens the door because it's it really does inspire me yeah. to say, you know what, you know, like, like I just sat down next to you and I go, wow, anybody ever tell you you're good looking? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you would answer, you started, huh? Yeah, would that be okay? Yeah. And, you know, tell me about what you do. Okay. Is that what she does? So you're, supposed, you're not going along with my conversation. <laughs> she, she, she's not buying my conversation at all. But I mean, you you actually, you just start up a conversation. Well, I had a wonderful experience, experience this morning. This is recent. 
this morning on the way. That's pretty recent. I always say, you know, Lord, first be cleansed, like you'll read in my book. Tell God you're available. If you tell him you're available, he's not going to say, I'm not using you today. Mm -hmm. And then ask him to send someone to you. And when he sends them, he's already prepared their hearts. Mm -hmm. And then ask him to tell you what to say. This way, it's all about him and not about you. So today, we're at the rest stop. And Jean had gone into the men's room first, and I was there. And this young man got out of a car, a van worker. And I said, oh, it's a beautiful day out today. He said, yeah. He said, it's a lot cooler. He said, it was really hot the last few days. And I said, yeah, I live in Naples. And it was really hot down there. I said, isn't God good? He said, oh, yeah, he sure is good. And he said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to do a taping for the Herman and Sharon show. Oh, tell me about it. Wow. So pretty soon he said, you know, my boss just went into the men's room. He's been trying to get me to go back to church for a long time. This was a divine appointment. So he and I talked for a bit. And um, he said, when's the show on? And he asked all these questions. Then I said, oh, tell me when you invited Jesus into your life. He said, oh, my grandmother led me to the Lord one morning, a long time ago. But I haven't been in church. I said, well, this is the time. And he said, my boss has been bugging me. So I said, I'm going to give you one of my books. He said, would you really? I said, yeah, well, I'll sign it. So I got the book, and we prayed, and he went back to the truck, and I was heading to the ladies' room, and I could see the boss in the driver's seat looking at the book. He says, this is a really great book. <laughs> I said, would you like to have one? He said, yeah, and the guy next to him said, yeah, I have one too. So I went back to the car, a van, and got two books out, and these guys came right over. And so he said, this is a divine appointment. I've been trying to get him to go back to church. Wow. This is God. So we talked for a bit, and I said, and tell me when you invited Jesus into your life, and they both could. They were so excited about this book, and the man says, you know, I have a son that doesn't really want to go to church right now. I said, well, I've substitute taught for 39 years. You read this book, and you're going to see stories in here that might change them. And it's a great plan that you could even teach in your church for evangelism. Oh, thank you so much. And we prayed and hugged, and then they left. So wow, it was a God thing. You, you just have those great. all the time. I mean, I mean, the book is replete with story. And the, the, the best place is the hot tub where I live because <laughs> you don't know whether people are rich or poor or young. Or you you and, like hot tubs? Well, I, yeah, because you They make, make me sick. <laughs> well, if you have an opportunity and God says, Herman, you're going to lead somebody to the Lord. In the hot tub? You're not going to say, That's not they likely. make me sick, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to say it. So anyway, I mean, that's what happens. They just, you start talking, and then they'll say, oh, tell me about it. And well, then, before you know it, they pray. Mm -hmm. Because I, that's God. And every day you, well, you ask him for that divine appointment. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you two really great stories. One, uh, one day, uh, I had a group of teenagers from a church in Fort Myers, and I was asked to take them to Fort Myers Beach to teach them how to use this cast method. You know, cast your nets and catch men for me. C is cleansing. A, tell God you're available. S, mm -hmm. ask him to send someone. T, ask him to tell you what to say, which is in the last part of the book with a 40-day devotion. You can do this yourself. It's so easy. A four-year-old could do it. And I said, okay, Lord, while I'm taking these kids to the beach, they want to see how I use the cast method. So I said, please send someone so this will happen. So we're walking down the boardwalk, and the kids are kind of to the pier, and they're kind of behind me, and um, listening, like they don't know me, but listening. And at the very end of the uh, pier are these four teenagers sitting with their, on the top of the bench facing me. And I said, oh, I know what I'm to do. So I went down, and they were going to fly out the next day. Who knows if the airplane might crash? Mm -hmm. So. They all prayed with me to accept the Lord. Goodness. So they, did, they didn't get smart with you or? Oh, no. I don't have that with kids usually. I've subbed many years, and God, God prepares their hearts, not me. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's got it all worked out. I just show up. And so uh, the kids said, Pastor son, how did you do that? I said, well, I'll show you. So we go up the pier. Now we're at the.